Hello, 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 familia. Welcome, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you're new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time and come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to all these boo goodies. Happy New Year, Happy New Year. New Year, new me. Just kidding. New Year, same thing. I'm so excited because we are here for a setting powder review. You guys know how much we love powders here. Powders will truly make or break your makeup. Literally make it look beautiful or janky AF, you know? Talking about makeup, most of my makeup is done. Wait, hold on, my blush is looking funky funky. You guys already saw this video, but I am testing out and well, no, duping out the Rare Beauty and e.l.f. blushes. It's been like a three day process. Today is the third day. I wasn't gonna film cause I was feeling like kind of lazy. I'm like, it's the new year. Let's get it going. I woke up healthy. We had an earthquake today too. It was like a four point something. I felt a little, a little shaking going on. I'm like, yeah, let me get up and work. Okay, <laughs> here we are, here we are. You seen those videos where like earthquakes happen Happen when people are filming imagine that happened oh my god let me not put that out there knock on wood okay what are we doing what oh yeah we're setting our skin so for collection had this powder and apparently it was like really good then i checked online i don't know months ago and i couldn't see it it was no longer available so i think they're re-releasing this or it looks like i never tried it and because so many people loved it i'm like let's see if it's legit before we get started let me tell you what i have on my skin so you know what we're working with i started off with priming the skin with the milk makeup hydro grip primer tap that on the skin i didn't rub it i really just tapped it in so it really gets that sticky effect i let that dry down then i went in with the elf camo cc in the shade medium 370 neutral added that all over the skin and then i blended it out with the sephora collection 88 brush really worked that product in like i told you guys i'm using rare beauty blush in the shade happy and the elf in the shade pinky promise on both cheeks just blending those out as you can tell like they're very very similar and i went in to color correct with the huda beauty corrector the shade peach let that dry down for a little bit and then i blended it out with this little sponge after that i concealed with the tower 28 concealer in the shade mdr added that all over the skin then i let that dry down then i'm like wait i need some bronzer i added the nars bronzer in the shade laguna 3 just on my forehead because i don't really want to disrupt any of the blush then i blended out the concealer with my little spongy worked my way from the bottom all the way to the top and the eye area here we are ready to go i always like to show you what i have on just so you know the process and to see if this will work with the makeup i have on you know let me give you info about the powder and then we'll start the new sephora collection translucent loose setting powder retails for only 15 dollars. this is a translucent and universal loose setting powder that blurs skin texture and sets your makeup for a soft look the coverage is light the finish is natural it is an ultra smooth jet milled setting powder it blurs fine lines and imperfection formula blends easily to reduce shine and create a refined polish effect you guys know sephora collection is sephora's brand and it is very affordable i honestly like sephora collection makeup i think they do makeup well i love their brushes especially they're freaking phenomenal let me just blend out a little. Can never blend too much, you know? Let's start. Here is the powder. It's pretty big. How big is this? 0.52 ounces. It is a little bigger. And my favorite part. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, does it smell? No. Packaging is like typical. It has a very nice translucent shade. It's kind of yellow. Let me show you on my phone so you can see. You see the powder this color? Wow. And let me see. I can always tell how finely milled the powder is if it sticks down. It doesn't stick down too much, but you see how it kind of comes together here. That's also an indication that it's finely milled. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. When it comes to setting powders, it's literally in the name. It will set your makeup down. It helps with it lasting all day long. If you were to not set it, you would be glowy like this, and it's most likely going to slip around and eventually come off, especially if you have oily skin. I have oily skin, and I can already tell if I don't set this down, it wouldn't last. That's like the gist of setting powder. I always like to use a, a powder puff like this because I feel like it deposits the product evenly and it gives you a nice blurred look. I like to grab the powder like this a good amount. We're gonna even it out by like pressing it in. 
you can see the shade of the powder here you always want to make sure any creases that you have which is in your eye area your laugh lines anywhere you want to make sure it's nice and blended out so when you set you're not setting in those lines I always like to start looking straight ahead in my under eye area looking up and then bringing it down setting powder should set to the eye area as well as the face it can just be one or the other I do find that there's a lot of powders that just set the skin well but not necessarily the eye area and that's not a good setting powder we need it to work in all areas okay looking good let's see it has a little sheen to it am i seeing that correctly i typically like matte powders too i do feel like they really set well this is setting nicely though it does have a little sheen you can see it here a little bit powders with sheen you can see that texture as opposed to a matte powder it will just smooth out typically it doesn't really set under eyes well but this looks so smooth anything with sheen in it i find in the past that it didn't set the eye area well and look it looks pretty good well i'm a little surprised look at the before and after with the lights turned off see how it's nice and smooth you don't see this glowiness so that's the purpose of a setting powder wow there is that glow here the powder is leaving not my favorite but if it's gonna set the eyes well then dang okay let me bake a little bit and see oh yeah it does have a little shine to it i can see it i don't know if you could see it here no i don't think you could but okay i am really surprised how smoothing this is and it has this glowy sheen to it i'm like not believing it wow okay all right, let's set the other side. I'm gonna grab, grab, grab here. And also powder should smooth the skin out even more than what it is like on this side. Here you can see like my pores. I have big pores, you'll always be able to see the pores. Very finely melt powder would like kind of fill in those pores. My favorite powder is loose powder because the powder is loose. It really gets into all the fine lines of your face. And that's your nose area, your eye area. That's why I really like a good loose powder powder so i'm gonna set like that and then i go around and around the skin and then it should set the eye area just as well not the eye area well of course the eye area but the lid area here i am pleasantly surprised it's really melting into the skin very well you don't really see a white cast i will do a flash test but no white cast here i mean for now you know? So it is 1048 in the a.m. I'm going to finish up the face. I'm just going to add a little powder. No, actually, no, this is it. I'm just going to add an eyeliner. So yeah, actually, I'll be back with the full face. Familia, familia. Ooh, okay. Powder's looking good. The only thing is that sheen. I'm noticing that. Oh, wait, it looks better. It looks good. I do feel like my under eyes, it did darken it a little bit. It's not as bright as I personally like it. However, I do use a very brightening setting powder. That's just my personal preference. But let's get into the nitty gritty. Because skin warmth is like setting in, things are looking really good. It's been maybe like 30 minutes. But you can just see that sheen. My skin is a little glowy because this powder is definitely not matte. I do have oily skin, so I'm very curious to see how things are going to last. I definitely think one of the better glowy sort of, not glowy because it's not a glowy powder, but a powder that isn't matte that really looks good. It's not accentuating my pores, my under eye texture. It did darken it up a little bit, but I do find that powders that have that sheen will not really give a good highlight effect. So I would just suggest to go in with a separate setting powder or something a little lighter or maybe matte because a matte powder will really highlight and or darken certain areas. So if you have a very light matte powder, it will lighten it. If you have like a deeper setting powder that you want to set maybe as a bronzer, it will do that as well. I do find that matte powder, the color it is, it translates onto the skin very similarly. This one does a good job of really melting into the skin where it doesn't look like you have powder, which is why I'm kind of looking like it doesn't even look like a half powder because you don't see anything 
off, you know? And anything with shine or a glow will make things look more natural, more radiant. A matte powder would just make it look matte, you know? I love a matte powder. Let's do a flashback test. If you're not familiar with what a flashback test is, a lot of powders, anytime you take flash photography, it'll make you look like stark white. So depending on the type of setting powder you have, it depends on like how much flashback we get. Let's get in here. Yep, there's no flashback here at all. So that's always a good thing, but you guys know we're gonna do an all day wear test and see how this wears and I'll see you at the window, bye. Oh wait, no, 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 my lip combo. I'm using the L'Oreal 420 Le Rouge Paris red lipstick and then this red lip liner from ColourPop in the shade Rudolph. It's like a burgundy lip color, just use a burgundy lip color. I don't even know if this is available anymore. At the window we go. Okay, you see how glowy the skin looks? This looks nice. It's always like a really good look at the very beginning of your makeup because it looks like the makeup has been in. Skin warmth has already been working because you have that natural glow. The only thing is, I don't know how it's gonna wear on my oily skin. You see the glow, all the glow? Nonetheless, the skin looks really beautiful. Ooh. Okay, let's wear. Hello, I'm back. It is eight o'clock. We've had this powder on all day. You know, I got you some footage at around four to show you. I think, I don't know when we started, you guys, but it had been halfway through. The skin was looking good, looking glowy, but we know that because this powder is not matte. It does have a slight sheen. The skin was looking really good. It was a little glowier than I would probably like it, but it did look good. Has it been 10 or 11 hours? I haven't touched up. No lie. This looks good. Okay, let's look, let's look. The skin looks looks really smooth like right here under eyes of course you know that's very important wow under eyes look smooth you see there's no creasing going on lids look good look really smooth girl why is this lip still on I have not touched up not once I just kind of left the lip to see how long it would last and literally it's lasted all day oh my god talking about lasting this makeup it looks good and look I just want to show you the eye areas right there the lids the under eyes and the skin you see no breaking up, no texture. Usually something I was kind of expecting was just having very large pores and texture being shown because how we started off at the beginning. But no lie, this powder is beautiful. I think my skin looks really good. Personally, personally, I don't like a powder that has a sheen. I will say this is the best powder that I've ever used that has sheen. The reason I say that is because the skin looks super smooth all over. The eyes, the lid, the under eyes, the skin, and 12 hours later, later, <laughs> 12 hours later without touching up. Girl, gastada, not here. Damn. This looks like uh, did I have like a book or something? Yeah. I'm just really pleasantly surprised how good the skin looks. I wasn't expecting to look this good. So this is a heck yes. Probably what I would do is use a matte setting powder probably to highlight a little bit. That's it. And then I would just set the rest of the face and my lids with this powder. Just because I do personally like a highlighted look. But that's a personal preference. I really like it. It's a heck yes. It's 15 bucks. I'll link it down below for you guys. Let me know your thoughts. Have you tried this powder before? Are you planning on trying it? Let me know if you want to see other products. I do want to create a full face using Sephora collection because their makeup's legit. Okay, this is it, fam. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Happy, happy new year. I'm wishing you all the best. I love you guys so, so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the point right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.